Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Bracket. In this demo, we are going to implement an ADF pipeline which handles inline errors for us. In this pipeline, this is how the pipeline will be shaping up. We will query a table that doesn't exist in the SQL server purposefully to showcase how to handle the errors. And based on the error message that we receive, we will apply different conditions or different expressions to perform in an event of failure, like what you want to do if the error occurs. So that is what we are going to achieve in this demo. So let's get right into it. So we are in the Azure portal now. I have a data factory by name data factory hyphen proto. I'm going to launch this data factory now. So this data factory don't have any pipelines at the moment. So let's create one for our use case. So we don't have any pipeline. So let's create a new pipeline and let's name this error handling pipeline. So first thing we need to do is we need to do a lookup on our SQL server. So I'm going to pull the lookup activity and uh, let's query the table that doesn't exist in our SQL server. So I am going to utilize the data set, which is my Azure SQL table. This is connected to the Azure uh, SQL server linked service. So if you want to understand how to create linked service and how to uh, generate linked connections to different resources, please do check the previous demo or do check out the channel for other videos where I have explained how to create linked service for SQL server and blob storage. So I'm going to query this database and i'm going to add a dynamic content this is going to be a straightforward query let's select all from test dot dummy table so basically this table doesn't exist neither the schema nor the table exist in our sql server or uh, if you want we can see that so if you see here we have uh, other tables but the one that i'm trying to query doesn't exist in the main database schema so this will fail right so let's see what the error message that we are getting i'm going to click on debug to start the run of this pipeline and this activity will fail yeah it failed so the input was select all from test or dummy table and we didn't get any output so the failure message says the following error the database operation failed with the following error which is invalid object name so this is the failure message we have. So this is the complete detailed error message, but let's focus on sentence alone, invalid object name. So based on this, we will try to filter out the error statement and we will see how to perform other uh, queries if this error occurs. So let's see how we can achieve that. I'm going to add one more lookup activity and I'm going to make sure that on completion of this linked service, I want my other second lookup to be executed. If I select on success, then this lookup activity will not run because this activity is failing. And if I run on on failure, this pipeline will su might success sometimes. This is purposeful of uh, failure that we are seeing, but in real world scenarios, sometimes the pipeline might succeed and you don't want to miss out the pipeline execution of underlying activities. So you can select on completion. You want this activity to be run. So this is our second activity. So in this activity, we are going to query the same table. Sorry, we are going to query the same database. But what we are going to do is little uh, mathematical here. So we are going to use if condition. So if condition is under functions and logical functions, we have an if condition here. Inside this if condition, what we will do is we will try to get the output from this lookup activity one instead of output we will go for error so this is an object element that we can query if the activity fails if the activity doesn't fails then we will get the output if it fails we'll get the error dot message will give us the detailed message of that activity so the activity sometimes might pass sometimes it will fail right so we want to handle the null situation so we can simply add a question mark here to handle the nulls if the pipeline succeeds skip this condition and directly execute the else condition if this fails then execute the if condition that is how this logic will work so we have our message extraction here so what we will do is we will convert this into a string and we will wrap it inside the string function and we will see if this is equal to invalid object 
name so this is case sensitive you have to specifically provide the letters if they are in uppercase and if they are in lowercase you have to make sure that everything is identical as possible with the error message and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use contains function here and i'm going to wrap everything into the contains function so what is happening here we are taking the output of the error message and we are converting it to string and we are seeing if the string contains this error message if this is up there then we will perform our if condition so we will do select all from sales lt dot tables to we have we have customer and product model let's select these two dot customer if this fails we want the customer table to be queried if it doesn't fail we want the product model to be queried so that is the logic so far that we need to capture the error message and perform the respective actions based on the error message so if i run this since our pipeline is already failing the customer table should be queried not the product model so let's see if that is working i'm going to click on debug now and the first lookup will fail as expected and the second lookup got succeeded what was the input to this activity it is the customer table not the product model as expected right so this is a simple inline error handling logic that we have if we have multiple uh, activities that are interconnected we can wrap them into an if condition or we can wrap them into a trials condition or we can wrap them into a child pipeline where you can run other activities also or you can do it on copy data activity i'm going to show how to do this with an if else condition also so let's go to the iteration and conditional and drag the if condition here so on completion of our lookup activity let's deactivate this for now and only run the if condition so upon completion of this the output of this will be the input to the if condition so for the if condition we will be adding the logic here so let's copy the logic from this instead of rewriting it completely so we will paste this here paste what we are going to do is instead of this we are going to make sure that if this fails let's make the value as true and if it passes let's keep the value as false so if the lookup fails the true condition will be executed and if it doesn't fail false condition will be executed so let's go into our if condition and edit the true condition so let's add a new copy or lookup activity here so let's go with lookup i don't want to fill my storage with files so for the lookup let's query the same table and let's query all from sales lt dot customer right and uh, let's copy this activity we can directly do a right click or uh, copy or control c to copy the activity and paste it anywhere we want on the canvas so that's one good thing about azure idf so i'm going to enter the false condition now and i'm going to paste this activity and let's call this lookup 4 and inside the settings let's change the table name to product model and that's it the condition will be handled inside this if condition expression and uh, as we know that only the lookup 3 should be executed post the failure of lookup 1 let's see what happens if i start debugging whether our uh, logic works correctly or if it is going to be executing lookup 4 so the lookup 1 failed if condition is in progress and i think because the true was returned by this if condition expression lookup 3 is being executed and i'm uh, sure that it will successfully execute because we do have the table in our uh, database 
let's refresh yeah it is succeeded so that's the logic and i think that is working as expected i think this logic might be useful for developers who are building complex pipelines and they want to minimize as much effort as possible and keep everything within a single activity if this was useful please do like the video and leave a comment if you have any specific video in mind i can create and publish it and please do subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any amazing videos that are about to come on devops mlops and data engineering thanks for sticking around till then guys have a good one bye